Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. And as you can see behind me, our 10 o'clock show is going to be amazing. I hope you stay tuned. I'm John Cole Morgan and welcome to Sewing Street. If you haven't uh, shopped with us before, there are several ways to do it. You can join us on our website, www.sewingstreet.com. Um, and it, as you get on, it's on our sister's site, Jewelry Maker. And just underneath the, you'll, the YouTube um, constant page, just below that, you'll see all of our amazing products from today's show and every other show that we've had. And if you want to see more products per page, there's a little option to put 96 products on a page. Saves you skipping page to page. Um, otherwise, you can call our UK-based call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. And the incredible team there will be able to help you as much as they can. Obviously, we're in a very difficult environment at the moment. So things are taking a little longer than what we, we, you're used to with ourselves. Thank you for bearing with us. We just want to make sure that everybody is able to keep doing everything they can as safely as possible. So if your call takes a little longer to answer, please bear with us. We're just trying to get there as quickly as we can with the skeleton staff. And of course, if you want to get involved on our social media, we've got lots of platforms there as well. We've got Facebook, which is the studio, the Sewing Street uh, run one themselves. That's Sewing Street TV. Otherwise, we've got the amazing fans page, which is Sewing Street Fans. And then if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's at Sewing Street. And uh, then again, every show that we do is on YouTube. So if you'd like to search for us on YouTube under Sewing Street, you can subscribe and you'll never miss a show. Um, every morning that we're on, we have an early bird. And as you can see, I am stroking our early bird this morning. This is a really, really good deal. The early bird is available basically for us early birds. People up nice and early, be able to watch the show. And today we've got this incredible, look how much! So that's just half of it. I'm going to just open it up so you can see just what you're getting. It's this fabulous eight ounce piece of medium heavy um, denim fabric. We're calling this dark blue as I remember. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful fabric. It's an eight ounce weight, so it's perfect if you're making sort of a more of a winter, autumn um, dress. If you're going to be making a quilt, many people don't know this, but with denim you can actually make a picnic quilt, so a quilt that's going to go outside, and you're able to put this on the back of your quilt, and it just makes it last that little bit longer. If you are going to do that, make sure you use a leather needle to, uh, or a denim needle to quilt it, uh, just that way that makes your cotton not snap as you're going through. But a really fabulous product. You can order it in more than one meter units, so if you've ordered two or three units of it, it will then come as a single piece of uh, two, three meters, and it's seven pounds 98 a meter. You just cannot go wrong with this. It's such a lovely color, feels really nice. I can't stop stroking it. Bag making, dress making, loads of different options, children's clothing as well. Lots of different things to do. And now we've got all this one at this time available, we can actually then create something unusual with it. I saw somebody make something out of this recently where they did free motion embroidery, and they actually used this as their background and used these really vivacious colors and did this wonderful abstract image on it. So you're not limited in any way, and the fabric is such good quality, really nice weight. And at that price, how can you leave it behind? You're saving two pounds a meter from what we had on the website before. So do have a check out on that, really great product. The first time we had this on was with um, Laura and Tree. They use these fabrics to do their um, color block dress. Their patterns are also available on the website, so have a little check out for that. Fabulous way of using the fabric as well, and at that price, how can you leave it behind? So that's a really, really lovely deal for what we got for us today but something I'm incredibly excited about because it sold so well the last time we sold out and we've been struggling to get them back in is our Clover Wonder Clips. These Clover Wonder Clips, this is a big bundle of them. We've been selling them as 10 units, but these are 50 units and you know me, I love to get them. So I bulk buy them and then cover all of my quilt things, my quilt bindings to put these on. But they're not just limited to quilting. You can use them for bag making. We had Angela Presley a couple of weeks ago using these on the PU um, to be able to hold the PU really well on that. So that works quite well. So you can use them for bag making, dressmaking. I'm not sure if you could use them for, but I'm sure you can. They're just such a great product. I just don't do dressmaking or clothes making. So I'm not too sure, but I am so thrilled that they're back. You get a multitude of colors with them. Uh, we've got a lovely little purple and purple one. We've got an orange. 
yellow. And my favourite is the blue. I love my blues. But then also you get this bright pink. I think that's all the colours. They always stand out. And the great thing is, is whatever fabric you're using, they'll work really, really well. And these, if you've never used them before, oh, here we go. What could go wrong? If you've never used these before, these have got a flat edge underneath. So you can see there's a little flat edge there, but it's got a curved edge on the top. So when you open this up, the flat edge is meant to be the fabric that I'm just going to use a piece of fabric we're going to show later. You, if you're going to do a binding, for example, you would put the flat edge to the bottom. So you can see that's nice and flat, but then you haven't distorted the fabric at the top, which is why you've got that lovely curve on it. And that will then just make it so much easier for you to sew your whatever you're doing, binding or bags. It just keeps everything really nice and secure. And there are really strong metal clasp on it, which makes it a lovely product. And it's my top favourite thing. I have hundreds of these and I've used them for years. Really, really great quality and just a lovely, lovely product. And it's been so good. We've, um, we've sold out of them the last time. We sold out quite quickly. So if you are interested in this, don't hang about. We have ended up getting, um, we've losing them quite quickly. I'm just noticing on the graphic, it's got a three behind 50 pieces. Do we know what that is, Joe? Just to be clear, you're getting one box here for $28.99. Not too sure what the three is. We always get these lovely little poppy things of different uh, letters on there occasionally. So you're going to get one box of these of 50 pieces for $28.99. So that's a, that's a really lovely product to, glad, uh, to have and I'm really pleased they're back. So enjoy that. If you haven't had it, make sure you have a little look. Now the next thing I'm really excited about is in this time of tumultuous isolation, not being able to be with other people. A lot of the community that I'm normally with are in the vulnerable category, so I don't get to see them anymore, unfortunately. And it's for safety. We've all got to be very cautious. But what I'm finding is people are really struggling in having some form of community and being able to engage with one another. We've got these amazing different groups and pages where people can meet up and virtually chat and things. But the thing, I did something recently um, on a social media platform, and I had a few of my friends do a little chat along and we organized a little sew along and it was so wonderful and so w awesome to do so i thought you know what i'm going to try this so i went to Haley and i said let's do our equivalent of the jelly roll race because we've got the most fabulous products and we've got this amazing bundle um, and i'll open these up and show them to you now I'll bring these up out and show them to you open later. We've got these three design roll strips that we've got here, which are 16 strips per bundle. And we're doing these as a bundle price in order to create this wonderful little social media event that we can all do together. And as far as I'm aware, the Sewing Street's very first sew along, we're going to be doing it at 8 a.m. on the 8 or 9 a.m. I just need to double check the time, but it will be on the 18th of April. Now, I know that seems a little way off, but skeleton staff, skeleton crew, um, people wanting to order this. We want to make sure that everybody's got the same product and everybody's had delivery. So we can definitely guarantee these for delivery for, I think we said the 14th of April. And then we picked the next day that I was in because I needed to be involved in this. So what the Jelly Roll race is, um, many of you may know it, some of you may not. What you do, and I'm going to just open this up to give you an example. Look how huge these things are, they're wonderful. So what you do is you're going to cut out each of these strips. Um, and this is an, the reason we're wanting to do it is a nice, simple, easy, fun quilt to do. So you'll cut along each of these white lines and you'll end up with all these strips cut loose. So you have all these strips together. Then what we're going to do is once you've done, all you need to do for your prep is cut these strips out. And then when you've got these together, we're going to sew them. We'll sew the pink one. We can do them in any order you like. So you can pink the, sew the pink one to the blue one, blue one to the yellow one. And we're going to sew these all end to end to end up with, I don't remember how many inches, let's say it's 1700 inches strip of fabric all together in one long strip. Then you take the ends, fold them together, right sides together, and we sew a quarter inch seam the whole way down. So our 1,700 inches becomes 850 inches, but two strips. And then when you get to the end, you just sew off the end and snip the end off. Then you've got two ends again. Take those two ends, fold them together, sew down the, um, the edge, 
quarter inch all the way down, snip the end off. So your 850 inches has now become 425 inches, but it's four strips. And we just keep doing that to see the different designs that you come out of. I'm still deciding how to do mine because I'm tempted to put all of these together then all of these together, and then all of these together to see how they go. But maybe you want to put alternate colours. Maybe you want to do a light pink with a dark blue. It, that would be your design. So everybody will come out with a slightly different product. And it, anyway, it, the great thing about this is you can do it as a complete beginner. The only thing you need to be able to do is to cut these strips out. You can use a pair of scissors. You can use a rotary cutter. Lock your blade and be safe, please. But make sure, you, all you need to do is just cut, because there are 16 strips on this, if I recall. I'm just going to count them out now in case I'm wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, so there's 16 strips on one of these. But you're getting three of them. And the great thing is, is they're all the same geometric design on them. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to fold these out so we can show you the different designs. And then I'll show you the patterns individually. But it's just the first time that we've ever been able to do a sew along. And I just thought, what a nice way of everybody not being able to get out. We're all looking for different things to do. And it's just a fun way of doing a project together. I'm hoping it'll work. And I hear we've got people checking out already. So there's been a little bit of interest already. So have a, have a think about wanting to be involved. There's no pattern. Everything will be explained to you on the day, so there's no extra charge. You'll just need the bundle. We're going to do it with three because I think the three gives you a nice size quilt. You can do it with two, um, but it's not quite as... We've got to look at the, the proportions of the piece when you're finished. And you want to make sure you've got something that's usable. Because if you only use one of these, your whole quilt is 20 inches wide, which is fine but it's about 55 inches wide, uh, 40 inches that way, so it just doesn't proportionally work. Three is a nice number. And buying all three of these bundles, you're gonna get a tenner off because we wanna get as many people involved in this as possible. And so let, we're gonna go into the overhead now. So I'm gonna show you, you can see what I mean. You can see on the blue, the pattern, but the pattern is the same in the blue and in the pink and in the yellow. And then it gradiates down. I'm just trying to line these up perfectly. And it gradiates down as you go. So you can see each of those designs is on every color. And now, as I get to that point there, if I fold this back, you can see how much lighter the fabric is at the top versus in the middle. The ombre that we've got going through these amazing panels I think it's going to work really, really, really well in this, in the sew along. And I just think it's a lovely... So the sew along, many people might not understand what I mean. So what we're going to do, it's basically, I'm going to be on air at, let's say it's nine o'clock. I haven't got the time. So I'll be on air and we're going to say, right, everybody has got their design role. This is what you do. And I'm going to sew it together with you on air. And then we can all sew together at home. And the great thing then is you can then tune in onto our social media platforms and as you're going along you take a little photo of your snap of where you are and what you're doing and how you're doing it and that way then everybody can see your pictures there's a little sense of community and being able to be involved in that and luckily we'll be able to have the medium to translate that on screen so people at home will be able to see what you're doing and if you've got any questions as you're sewing along i'm here to answer them for you at the time so we thought it would be a nice idea to try, and we're going to give it a go, and it's just something, it's nice to be able to be a part of that community. 18th of April is when we're hoping to do it, so if you order today, we're almost guaranteed the product to be with you. I think they said the 13th or the 14th of April, because of our skeleton staff at the moment. Um, so everything will be with you in time, and all you'll need to do is just cut all of the strips out, get rid of all the white bits, and just make sure you're not cutting any of the fabric away. And that's it. All you need is a sewing machine, and being able to sew a quarter inch seam and a bit of fun. It's just something to make sure that you're all involved and we've got an amazing fan group community on our Facebook page. We're just trying to bring you all together to create a sense of community. And it's just something nice for us all to be able to do. And at the end of it, we're gonna have a really easy quilt to make of a really, really nice size. And it sh you should be able to finish that within the two hours. And if you don't, it'll take a couple of hours after that because all you're doing is we're sewing these strips together on the short end. And then once you've got your 17, 1800 inch piece, you're folding it in half, right sides together and sewing all the way down. And then folding it in half, sewing all the way down. And you just keep going, keep going. And I 
think we worked it out to be around about 82 by 60 inches. Don't quote me on the size, but I'll double check that with the math, because you've got seam allowances and things like that, and I haven't made one up yet, so that's my job for the weekend. I'm going to make one of these up to be able to show you. So follow the social media groups as well, and I'll be posting on there what we're doing and what it's going to look like, and that's just one way of doing it, because everybody will have a different way of doing it, because you may want to put a dark purple with a light yellow, because you, you might want to put one of these dark purples here with one of the light yellows. It's entirely up to you how you sew them edge to edge. It's lit and every way you do it will be different. And that's what I'm really looking forward to, is see how these incredible panels with such fantastic design on it is going to be able to be reflected in your design. So the method of doing it is really simple, and these design rolls are so beautiful, and they're so well thought out, and you get so much fabric, because these are 55 inch wide. They're not the traditional 42 inch, um, 42, 44 inches. And I just love them. They're just so well thought out. So I think I showed you, oh, and we've got a quarter of the stock is gone already. Oh, this is gonna be amazing sew along. Don't miss out. It'll be something really fun to be involved in. So I'll just show you these full panels again so you can see what we're doing. They're so huge, I have to flick them. Such great value. You can see how much fabric you're getting on it. So this is a meter by 140 centimeters. A meter obviously being the strips going down and the 140 being from, you can't see it because my graphic, from this end to this end being the 140. But you can just see those beautiful ombre of colors. They work so, so, so beautifully together. And this is the pink one. Have we called this berry? This is called the berry one. And they are offered individually as well as together, um, but you do save £10 by ordering all three together. And it's just such a lovely, thoughtful bundle and such a beautiful geometric design on it. I think it's going to be a really fun project. And many other people do as well. It's called to the stock on already. Isn't that great? And you're going to get all three of these in that bundle price of 49 97 So that was the berry one. Is this one called Azure? This is called Azure. I'm learning the names as I go. But look at the, oh, you know me, I love my blues. And you can just see how beautifully subtle they are. And just such a lovely shades of blues and teals. I love these. But you can see there that the, the dark blue there versus the lighter blue, you can see how the ombre, oh, figure out how to do this. Oops. You can see how the ombre goes from that lighter blue up to the dark blue. It's just such a lovely gradation of colour. You can see it best there. It almost looks like one of those um, paint charts that you get in one of the hardware stores when you're looking to paint your house. And I won't deny most of my house is this colour. <laughs> but it's just going to be a really fun project. And I'm hoping it goes really well, because then we're hoping to be able to do it again. Especially where we are right now. None of us, not being, none of us being able to go out socially and see people. It'll just be a really nice way of being involved with your community. And we're all doing like-minded minded things, making a single project together, even though each design will be slightly different. But look at that one. What's this one called? The Sunset. This is the sunset one. So again, these are available in this amazing bundle with a, sailing, a saving of £10. But if you wanted to buy these individually, these will be on the website as well. So we're going to, oh, we can do them individually. Oh, brilliant. Yay. But look at that bundle. I'm just going to give you a little idea of the bundle together. Again, you've got all of these together, the three of these together, and that's going to be 49.97. And look at my brilliant folding. Aren't I getting worse at my folding as the days go on? So these are the three bundles you'd need for the, um, the, the jelly roll race. We're going to call it the design roll race, I think, because we do design rolls, not jelly rolls. So this is on the 18th of April, and I just need to confirm the time. I think it's 9 o'clock. We just need to double check that. But we'll tell you close to the time. Keep involved in our social media. You'll be able to see it. But close to the time, we'll be able to show you on air as well. So this is the one individually now. So you can see individually, this one is £19.99. But look at it. It's just so fun. I'm really pleased to hear the bundle selling really well. I'm so excited. 
And it's just some way of being involved and doing lots of things. You don't want to miss out on it. It would be really good. So this is a really good way, I think, that shows the panel. You can see going from a, a really light colour to a really dark colour. It's fabulous. Who doesn't love a good ombre? Now, I'm going to get this folding thing right one day. Today is not that day, but I will one day. Oh, that shows up beautifully. So and next I'll show you the azure, 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 azure. This is my favorite one. But then again, I say that, and then I look at the berry and think, oh, the berry is so lovely. And I think these beautifully subtle geometric um, designs at the base of the fabric, it's just so cleverly done. You can see there how beautifully they're all so subtly different, but they just work so beautifully in such a good cohesion. I think I'm at the top. Oh, no. You see, I'm, I'm thinking as well, I might get the bundle and then just get a blue one as well to maybe do the border or a binding. Um, but, you know, what works for you. I think if you want to go by what everybody else is doing, the bundle's been very popular, so that's a good start. It's just been such a fun event. So that's the 18th of April if you do want to take part. We'd love to have you. And this is now the sunset geometric. I'm going to start with the bright to the dark. We all need some brightness in our days, don't we? And I hope everybody's staying safe. Look at that. We're all here and we've all taken the wonderful measures to make sure that everybody here is safe. That's why sometimes you'll hear the pitter patter of the lovely Joe's feet running from the studio, going up to the camera to click it over and it's zoom in when we need it. There he goes, you can hear him now. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. But it's just to make sure that everybody is safe and we're keeping everybody doing the right things that we need to. And I don't know if you all know this, but it's very exciting for me. Three hour shows from tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Not looking forward to the 4 a.m. getting up, but that's okay. It's worth it. But three hours, who would have thought it? And we're only, what, seven weeks old now? How fabulous. Really excited. What if you... And that's an hour on the beginning. So for all you early risers, that's another hour in bed watching us, inspiring you for your day. It's going to be brilliant. And then this is the wonderful bundle if you're going to buy it as a bundle. And the, I think the way I folded this is going to work. No, it, uh, will it? No. So this is the bundle then. So you've got the, um, the berry, which is the, the pinky one, the azure, which is the blue one, and then the sunset, which is the orange one. And I will get this right eventually. Everything's backwards, I'm, I'm still struggling with that. But I think if I've done this correctly, and I haven't, of course, obviously. Um, did I do that light to dark? I'm gonna do the dark. I was trying to be able to very subtly flip this over to show you the other side of it. So there we go, I can do that now, hopefully. So you can see that the, because it's an ombre, because it's an ombre, I wanted to show you the lights as well. And that's then the bundle where you're saving £10 by buying all three. So I'm very excited about our little um, design roll race. I do hope you can join us. That's what you'll need to do it. No extra pattern, just these. And if you can, in order to prepare them, you just need to cut the strips out. And if you keep them in order, if you want to keep them in order going from dark to light, that'll make your life a little easier. And just have a little think about how you want to do it. And I hope you stay involved. Don't want to miss out on it. It's just such a lovely, lovely idea. Hopefully it works. Which one? So I don't know if I don't know if everybody saw the Amelie quilt that we did last week, but I'm, I brought my sample in today because it's just such a fun, vibrant, sunny, sp uh, springy quilt. I brought this in today as well. Look at that! And you can see, just ignore the random thread there on the navy. <laughs> I thought I got, there's always a random thread, let's get rid of that. <laughs> but the colours on these are so beautiful and the, hmm? 
So all of this, this is the quilt then you saw then. It's still got one row to add to it, so it's going to be 56 by 48. This was just done, uh, achieved by buying the kit that we had on on the week, a um, couple of days ago. So you're going to get, um, it's a meat, sorry, you don't. You've got to buy the white separately. Sorry, I got that confused for a second then. You get this fabulous um, layer cake. This fabulous layer cake. Uh, if I bring that more, there we go. And then you get this fantastic pattern in order to make this quilt. And you can just see it's really fresh. But what I loved most about this quilt is you don't need to match anything up. It doesn't really need any matching up. It's nice if you do, but you can tell here, and I'm going to be very honest, because look, you can tell on my seams over there, I didn't match anything up. Didn't match anything up at all. Oh, we got it on the overhead, even better. So you can see that I did, didn't really match that all up. It was close enough for me. I was very happy. But look at that. We're all our own biggest critics, isn't it? But not one person would have noticed that, but I'm like, that one didn't work. But again, you can see it does not matter because the colors are just so beautiful. And any form of, if you do want to watch this back, it was the 29th of March at 9 a.m. So you can go onto the YouTube uh, channel and uh, which is called Sewing Street. And then you can just have a little squ a squiz for that and you'll be able to see it. But it was a lovely, easy quilt to make. It was really nice. It just took a little bit of time to take a few minutes to work out how to lay it out. But that was it. That was the most difficult thing about it. It was really good. And if you do have the stropology rulers, this was a really nice thing to get with it in order to do it. So for this, you're getting the layer cake and you've got 42 different fabrics in this. And I can't obviously take the whole layer cake apart. I can slide that down a little bit. Give us a little bit more folding options. But anybody who's had a layer cake and done this, you know you just shed little bits of fabric everywhere, which is wonderful. You can see the fabrics are so cute here. And these are all 10 inch pieces. They're from Moda. And the, the design, the, this specific one is called The Front Porch by, is it Sherry and Chelsea? Um, it's just such a fun, vibrant color set choice. This orange just pops so beautifully. But the great thing as well, it works so beautifully with the navy here, even with the same design, but then the one beneath it, because some of them you get two pieces for, some of them you don't. Just look how thoughtfully they've colored that little flower, the same color as these, um, what are we calling those, little stars? It's just a really well thought out colorway. And you can see that dark orange there is the same color as that dark orange there. It just blends so beautifully. I'm always in a great envy of people who design fabric. Look how clever they are. It's just a really lovely fabric range. So if you are in looking for a fun new project and it's really, it's a, it's easy to do, just takes a little bit of time to lay everything out, but you've got loads of time right now. Stay in and sew, that's our motto. The only thing you will need additional to that is an, a meter of, I used ivory for this particular quilt. We've got these on the website as well. I think they are six, 6 98 It's a lot cheaper than I sell it in my shop, that's for sure. But yes, six ninety eight for a meter of the background ivory. I'm not gonna fold that out because you know what it is, just a, a meter of the, of the the thing on there. I don't want to bore you with things. There's more fabric I can show you than a white piece. So yeah, a really lovely piece of fabric this. Actually, I'm going to put this under here just to create a little pop of colour for you. You know, I can see I love my colour. That's 10 o'clock. So <coughs> we are now looking this one here. Oh, I'm so excited. The problem with talking so much is you accidentally cough. I'm fine. Thank you for worrying. Right, so this is the new Lewis and Irene uh, design called Tulip Fields. Oh, but look at this. I just love it. It's so fresh and springy and oh, it's just so lovely. Let me just move these design rolls out the way. But they're so fresh and lovely and they're the newest range from Lewis and Irene. And they're just full of spring, all just so full of spring. 
And look at the baby little mice as well. I'm going to turn that there so you can see the little baby mice there. And look, they're in love. Oh, I love little stories like that. And you can just see the little, you can just see how fun and excited that all is. It's just such a lovely fabric range, this. I'm really pleased we got them. Oh no, look at this one. It's got little baby mice in the flowers. Are we selling these individually as well? Oh, very exciting. So we've got these as a two meter bundle. Two meter bundle. Shall I show you each piece individually? So the two meter bundle is twenty six ninety nine, and you know what the fabric prices are. That's a really good price on fabric there. This is just such a cute little thing. I'm look. Oh, look at the little little mice in love. What can you? Seven six ninety nine for a half meter of these. But just look how cute they are. Really, really sweet, sweet, clever little design. See, I'm seeing this for children's clothing. It's a fun little bag, even. Fun little bag. A friend of mine's taken up um, working on their allotment a lot more. And I'm just thinking, it's a nice little sturdy allotment bag. That would be quite cute as well. And it's such a great, uh, qu great quality fabric as well. Very easy to pop in the washing machine. Got no problem with that as well. And you can do these even linings, little pockets on bags as statement pieces on any bags you're making. What a fabulous little piece of fabric that is. So that's the first piece of our four piece bundle. That's six ninety nine for a half meter piece if you want to. And if you buy sort of three, or let's say you bought three units of them, they'll come together as a meter and a half piece. So you'll get all half meters. Um, uh, if you bought the three pieces, it'll be a metre and a half, but obviously if you bought two bundles, they'll come as each as individually as for half metre pieces. And this one's really, really just tulipy and just so lovely. Just makes me think of, of Holland for some reason. I assume all the, the tulips come from Holland, but look how gorgeous that is. So these are six ninety nine for a half meter as well. This is called Tulip Fields Tulip on Cream fabric, and this is included in our bundle as well. So if you wanted to get the bundle, you're going to get this piece and the piece before. I'm getting better at this folding thing. Sorry, I get very excited by the littlest of things. Just can't love those little mice. Oh, but this one's really cute as well. I love, now we all know I love a good salvage. I'm gonna be a pain and ask if you can get onto the overhead. Can we go onto, the, go onto the overhead maybe? Because you've got to love a thoughtful salvage. I love that. Look at that, you've got little tulips of every color all along the way. Just so cute, really cleverly done. And I think, oh, it's on all of them. Oh, I love that, because I make selvage quilts. So I love keep keeping all the selvages and then making little quilts out of them from there. Or bags out of them as well. Oh, that is just, but you can see how vibrant and fresh that is. But maybe you wanted to, if you didn't want to use this, uh, the other fabrics as a lining, this would make a gorgeous lining. Also for quilters, this would make a stunning binding on a quilt as well. Really fun, very fresh. This is yellows and pink tulips on cream fabric, half a meter for $6.99. And again, if you bought two or two or three units, you'd get them as either a one or a one and a half meter piece, just depending how many units you bought. Oh, that's just so lovely. Oh, now we've got the little baby mice. Look how cute they are. Who doesn't love a little cute little piece of fabric this early in the morning? But look at them all poking their little head. I think I've got this upside down. Give me ten, give me two seconds. I'm gonna flip it round. Got them the right way around now. You can see the little baby mice heads coming out of each one. Look at them, they're so cute. It might be non-directional actually, because now I think I've got it upside down as well. <laughs> it's probably non-directional. But just my favorite one, wait, where is he? Is, where's he gone now? I saw him on the camera, but I didn't see him then. That one there. Look how cute he is. He's just got a nice little surprised head on him. I love it. Very, very cute fabric. Hope. And it's got a little baby spot background to it as well, which is just so cleverly done. Just adds that little extra bit of a pop, a little bit of a detail on a fabric. You love it when it's got lots of different details that you're not just focusing just on the baby mice of cuteness. And again, we've got our little poppy salvage. Very cleverly done. I love a little fun salvage. 
So this is now $6.99 for a half meter, and then we've got this amazing bundle all together, if I'd folded it correctly, which the bundle is four, these four pieces together. I had folded that one correctly. And this bundle of four is available for $26.99. And just such a lovely combination of these fabrics together. It works really, really well as a kit. Really, really lovely as a bundle. Can't go wrong. Gosh, we've got some fabulous things on today. Now we're going to do the floral seeds. So these are fabulous fabrics. We've had these on a, a once or twice before, but we're only selling them as a bundle now. So if you do want them, this is the way to get it. So these are by Figo. We're going to show these as a bundle first. I'm getting too enthusiastic by showing them all individually. So these are all available as a bundle. I'm just going to zoopy them out a bit. And look how fresh they look as well. Again, flower theme. But what I love about these is the, the beautiful d detailing on these seed packets here. So you've got wildflowers, sunflower, cosmos. I keep thinking that's cosmos, but nope, it's too early in the morning for cosmos. But cosmos, because in South Africa, that's a very South African flower. You get them everywhere. You get absolute acres of them all together. So I'll show you these individually as well. Just such a fun, fun just collection of colours because they're not what you would traditionally use together. I would have thought, but they just but they just work so beautifully. They're so fresh. And the, uh, the, this bundle is twenty four pounds ninety six. And I haven't mentioned this today at all, but we've got our one day P and P. So if you order two or three times from us today, at different times you see something on this show that you liked, and then look on the next show, you only pay the one P and P of three ninety five. So make sure you get it in your basket and check out because we don't want you to miss out. Some of these things have been doing very popularly today, so we don't want you to miss out on anything. So you can then just, you don't have to worry about the postage twice. You'll only pay it the once. But look at these gorgeous, vivid colours. They're just so beautiful. See, with this one, I would use these as bindings and, oh, gosh, I just love a great fabric like this. Because you can do anything with them. Can you imagine this as a little dress for a little girl or a nice little waistcoat for a little boy or as a bag? Can you imagine that as a little statement bag? Or even a lining of a bag would be really good as well. There's no end of options of these. Really, really fun product. So you get half a metre of each of these in this bundle. Um, four fabrics in... Four fabrics and it's £24.96. Who doesn't love a good yellow? Everybody's got a good bit of yellow and a nice bit of pop colour in your collections. Really lovely yellow. But it works so, so well with the bundle. It's a really nice pop colour. Works really, really well. Could be one of your staple fabrics, having that nice little pop of yellow in all your all your quilts. Joe's babbling in my ear about how well that goes with this, and I'm like, it does actually, it does. I'm actually looking at that, which shows just how well the yellow goes with the yellow as well. So he's got a good eye, that Joe. Not just pitter-pattering around, giving creative ideas as well. Look at that. Now this is the one that I looked at upside down and where I thought the little vase looked like a, a, a spade. It doesn't, it's a vase. But look at that, just fun detailing on that as well. Works so well as a collection together. It's just a nice little staple to add to your collection. I heard a wonderful line the other day because of where we all are and the um, where we all are, it wasn't fabric hoarding; it was preparation for today. <laughs> I thought that was a very good line. And then you can see that that's just such a lovely fresh bundle together. So that's just such a, we've got so much to choose from today. It's wonderful. I love being able to bring you lots and lots of choice. 
So we're now, we've got this one. I have not seen this before, so this might be new to us today. Well, it's certainly new to me. I've not seen this one before. So this is the Michael Miller fabric, and I've got to stop opening them before I show them to you as a bundle. <laughs> So this is a one meter bundle, which is lovely. We love a good little, a little pop of fabric just for the day to keep you going. And that is the Michael Miller Pagoda. Is that how much it is? Gosh, that's cheap. So you're getting the two pink fabrics in my hand and that is 11.98. Half a meter of each fabric. All width of fabric, usually 42, 43 inches on these. And it's Michael Miller. Really great designer, very, very well known, certainly in the quilting world, but just such a clever designer. But look how fabulous that one is. It's just such a clear, beautiful, fresh, detailed line of, of leaves and oh, it's just so, so clever. We had this in a mint color, but the mint I hear has sold out. So you can see that this is a very popular, very popular fabric. Really lovely on this. But not only are you getting this piece, uh, third, third, third. I will get there, I will get there. Salvage in, there we go. Third, third. And now we get the second piece of fabric in this bundle, which is just so fabulous. I love going to China and I love looking at these different designs and going to Hong Kong and these just reminds me of all the beautiful sh um, national shops that they have. They're just so lovely. And those flowers, they just take you there. It's beautiful. So it's 11.98 for that one meter bundle, half meter piece of each one. Michael Miller, anybody who knows Michael Miller knows how well he designs. He's been around for quite a while and just such a clever, clever designer. Woohoo! I folded it right first time that time. So that's your little bundle for eleven ninety eight. It's the two pink fabrics I've got in my hand. Eleven ninety eight, half meter of each one. That's the Michael Miller Pagoda Dreams pink fabric. Really fun. Now we're going to do the June showers. I love this. So this is now in April. Sorry. We're in April, so these are June showers. Sorry, that was what I was hearing. I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so we're going to start off with our wonderful fat quarter sets. These are all exclusive to Sewing Street. But just look how fun these are. But look how big they are as well. Before I go any further, look at that. They're 55 inches from here to here. You can't see it from, oh, wrong way around from here to here is 55 inches. So each of these uh, fat quarters are 27 and a half inches by 19 and a half. And just look how fun they are. And you can see all four of them on the screen together if I can actually do this properly. Really clever detailing as well on it. And it's good that you can use these for foundation, for English paper piecing, wanting to fussy cut things out. You can see that detailed one at the top there, the little ladybird. That's my favorite piece in this um, fabric there. You can see the little ladybird in the, uh, in between two clouds, just at the top of your screen there. He's now disappearing out and he's coming in. Disappearing out, coming in. So that's just, that's my favorite little feature on that fabric. But you can see each of them have such clever details. And you can see they're little April showers, but these are called June showers. Now I know what you meant, Joe. Cool, so we're gonna, should we show you these overhead? So you can have a little look and see. So you've got these, that's very clever, this little pink one. You might not be able to see them from where I was showing them to you now. But you've got little watering cans, you've got tiny little flowers, another little flower. That's an even more tiny little flower, and then you've got a little flower head. It's just such a great quality on this because there's no bleeding. Because we all know what that means, is that when you buy a piece of fabric, you've got a very tiny little detail, and you're like, oh, what is that? Um, but it's all these are really well printed, really lovely fabrics on it, and exclusive to us. These four fat quarters are $14.99 for the two, uh, for the four, these four fat quarters are $14.99. I don't know where two came from. Exclusive to Sewing Street. 
And these are definitely bigger than the usual fat quarters because our fabric is 55 inches long. So these fat quarters are 27 and a half inches long. And then the same width as a normal fat quarter. So a normal fat quarter is about 20, 21 inches um, wide, whereas ours are 27 and a half. So you're getting even more fabric for the same price pretty much. So that's the um, layer cakes, not layer cakes, the fat quarters, that's the panel one. So this is now also fat quarters, so this is, is this panel? This is panel two. This is panel two. So the one I've just shown you is panel one, this one's panel two. Slightly different colorways, similar designs, but you'll see what I mean when I show these out now. So you can see as well that they are wider fabrics than what you'd normally get. So you can see the four of them there. Slightly different colorway, but again, equally as, as lovely. Really, really fresh. And we'll go onto the overhead as well so I can show you the detailing on it. So this is the same one again where you can see the lovely little, you can see the lovely little uh, um, watering can, all the little flowers, the same flower heads there. And if I move this up, you can see the detailing on this one. Unfortunately, I've put it upside down, so you're just, I'm going to flick this round to get them the right way around because some of the fabric's directional, some of it's not. I want to make sure I get it right for you to see and you're not all sitting in your living rooms going, what's that? So here we go here. This as you can see, it's just really fresh and the detailing is so lovely. You can just see that little orange there of the leaves falling on the ground that they followed all the way through. It's very clever. And then you've got this lovely one as well with the beautiful Wellington boots and the leaves around it as well. And then we've got the same one here as well. We're slightly different on this one. We've got oh, my ladybird. Wait, can I show it? It's my little ladybird. I love my little ladybird. You can see just really, really lovely colors and fabulous. So you've got a carrot there. You've got an apple. You've got some flowers again. Look at the butterfly. You've got these lovely little trees and flowers again and all the water droplets are really cute and clever. And you've got this lovely little smoke plume coming out of the, the house as well. It's very, very cleverly done, very well designed. And also, oh look at the little bee! I hadn't noticed the little bee. The little welly boots. So if you're looking to fussy cut anything, you know, you could cut that little be out there, you can cut the little ladybird out there, you can cut the flower out. Actually, that would be really pretty doing an EPP with that flower and doing that on there because you've got so many of them. It's such a big piece of fabric, you could do that all the way along. So you just a really cleverly designed um, fabric range. This is exclusive to Sewing Street, so if you are looking for it, this is the panel two version, and these are $14.99 again. Each fabric, each uh, fat quarter is 27 and a half inches by 19 and a half. So yeah, a little bit more fabric than you would get as a normal fat quarter. So here we have another design, uh, design roll strip. I think that's what we called them. These are fabrics, uh, design strips. But to give you an idea of how big this is, excuse me while I flick again. It's huge. You can see all these different designs there as well. They've been very, very cleverly done. But everything is so clever. I'm going to rotate this round so I'm not going to get them upside down for you. And then we can come on the overhead and you can actually see each fabric individually. And I'm going to lift that up a bit more. There we go. I think I'm at the bottom of the camera now. So you can see we've got these lovely little raindrops or leaves or whatever you want to call it. And you've got these lovely retro dots and they're not circles, they're just like little dots, irregular dots. Very cleverly done. And you've got these in different colorways here. You look at the three different colorways there. So if you, uh, you, these three different colorways work really, really well there, but you can see they're exactly the same design, just with a different strip. It's a really great way to get a design roll and everything's been thought out for you for the different colors. 
you know, perhaps for our design role so along next week, uh, in two weeks' time, this may be something you'd want to do. Maybe you get three of these. It's not going to be in the deal that we've got for the geometric ones, but this would work really, really well as well. So it might be something you'd be more interested in doing with that. We've got no limit on your choices here, which is great with that sewing street. So we've got this, and then we've just got the charm squares left on this range. This one's not a third, a third, a third, because there's so much fabric. Such a great deal, that. And then we've got our June Showers um, fabric squares. And this is, there are 40 different squares at five inches, and you're getting two of each. So you'll see that you've got one there, and then just below it, you've got the other one starting there. And these are $9.99 cannot go wrong with those and you can see that you've got these wonderful same designs as well I'm not sure I can rotate this along so you can see each of them but they're all the same as the jelly roll the um, design street ro design rolls exactly the same designs as that so I can show you these on here perhaps but if we don't need to because you've seen them all from that but you can definitely have a little look on the website if you want to have a look on that but $9.99 for that charm pack, because it's not charm pack, the four, five inch squares. Really lovely collection there. So how's our early bird doing? This amazing piece of um, canvas, cotton canvas dark blue fabric. It's a meter piece. And it's really wide as well. I can't remember how wide this is. Do we remember? see just a beautiful wide piece of fabric so for our early bird today these are two pounds off its regular price this is 7.98 for a meter it's an eight ounce medium heavy uh, wash medium to heavy weight washed cotton denim really lovely fabric for bag making and a load of different options as well so yes if you are looking at that don't hang about it's really really great fabric that and again, our Wonder Clips, they've been out of stock for a little while. We've got them back in now, which I'm very pleased about because these are one of my favorite products for quilting. But obviously they're not only for quilting, they're for bag making as well. And the amazing different products you can do, different ways you can use these products. The bag making is definitely one of them. We had the lovely um, Angela Presley in a couple of weeks ago. She was using them on PU. And obviously with PU, you can't really use pins. So these worked very, very well. And they're really strong. They help that PU very very comfortably without any issue as well so a really lovely for, um, product that back in stock now and talking of back uh, bag making the inevitably amazing Debbie Shaw has written these fabulous books this one's on backpacks um, these are available today and they're all signed by Debbie as well I'm just gonna double check where her signature is here because I can pop that open to you you got there Love Debbie. What well, about all you? But I love Debbie. So that's twelve ninety nine for it. And you can see the. So I'm going to show you two things here. First of all, you get the Love Debbie signature in it, which is personalizes it. And the great thing is here, you've got your amazing templates, which are kept in the front here. And these templates are for every bag in the bundle. You've got fifteen different projects within the bags, or within the book. All these different bags, but not only do you get the fifteen projects, but you're not limited by just these. You can mix and match. So if you like that um, cover there with the dog's face on. Um, I can't remember if it was before or after this. You can add it on at different stages in the bag. So if this one, for example, you wanted to put a flap on it, it shows you how to do that. And she gives you all the techniques to do it. And I've lost it now. Of course I have. So a really, really lovely, clever collection here. So that was what I was meaning. So you've got the bag there, you've got the lid there, and you can put the doggy's face on if you want to as well. There's loads of different designs. She teaches you how to do all the techniques in this incredible section at the front. So with this, you can then go on to make all your different projects. So although there are only 15 projects in here, there are endless variations on it. But on top of that, not only is it $12.99 with us, I'm just going to point over here, and you can see for yourself, you're saving £5 on the recommended retail price of it, because this is $17.99 on the back. Don't tell me. And these, when you've got this wonderful uh, backpack book, 
you've got to have some fabulous canvas fabrics. We showed these on a show, I can't remember what day it was, we had these fabrics on. And I'm not gonna open all of them because the colors are so clever. I'm just gonna show you they're all the same size, just to give you an idea of scale of what you're gonna get on each piece of fabric. For $3.99, it's huge. So you can see just how big that piece of fabric is. And this is the size of every single um, piece that are in the half meter, uh, half meter measures of each one of these. So we've got loads of these different colors here, which work so well together. What we were doing the last time we had them on is we were showing different color ways and how well they work together. And we've actually sold out of, it, of one of these as well because the colors were so vibrant. But the okra was turning out to be very, very popular the last time. This okra was turning out to be incredibly popular the last time. Um, but you can see there's just a wonderful range of colors there. So the co so we're going to come back to there. The coral is that that one. So we, so this is the red one, which I've just shown you as well. Now we've got the coral, which just works so cleverly. I put these the wrong way around. So this is the coral. You can see that beautiful pop of color there. That's the coral. That's what we've got as a graphic now. And now we have the black. We called it black or is it charcoal? So that's the black. Again, these are $3.99. All of these are $3.99 for a half meter. And included, a, obviously, got a one day PNP. So if you bought something in the hour and now you're seeing these and thinking, oh, I must have that, that's the same PNP all day. Now we've got the navy, which is also a really beautiful navy as well. So there, we won't open these out, but it's half a meter by 150 centimeters each one. And again, for 3 dollars you can't go wrong for that. And the great thing is with all these wonderful bag pa um, packs of Debbie's, these bag pack books and all the other books that she's got, these work very, very well with it. So I think this one is called charcoal. This is the charcoal range, just so, so lovely color. Because that's what I love about these colors, they work so well together. So if you wanted to buy four units of these to get two meters, uh, get, buy four units of these, they would come as a, four, as a two meter piece. So if you bought multiple units, they would come as one individual piece on this. So however many meters you need, you can then just increase your units on that. So this is the okra. This was incredibly popular the last time it was on and such a fabulous color. And they work very, very well with PU as well. So if you are looking for something to do with it, PU is a really good way. And we've got some fabulous PU on the website as well. So check that out. Look at the sky blue. It's just such a lovely color. And I'm just gonna do something naughty now. I'm just going to show you how beautiful those three look together. Because I think color matching is sometimes quite hard for some people. But these are for the sky blue. This is the graphic at the moment. But that's the ochre and the charcoal. But you can just see how well they work together. And at that price point, it's worth, very, you know, it's, it's worth it getting in there. Having a little bit of a play. Because for four pounds, you can't really go wrong. Less than four pounds. So this one I think we've called teal. And it's just such a vibrant color, this one. I love teal. You can see it just works so beautifully with everything else as well. And then we've got the cream, but it's got a little bit of an oatmeal-y, biscuity feel to it as well. I've just realized there's little threads on this as well. You can tell when I'm around, there's threads everywhere. But it's just such a lovely color, this as well. Because sometimes when you get creams, they're a bit bland. There's no detail to it. But here you can see there's just a lovely little dot of browns in it, which gives you a little bit of an oatmeal feel to it. It's lovely. And now this one I think is called Fuchsia. It's a bit scary, I know all of these. I only know it because I bought so much on the website. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. That's the beautiful Fuchsia. It just pops so beautifully. Statement pieces, you're doing a statement bag or a little uh, backpack or something. It's just so lovely. You'll always be able to see it. It's really good. And then we've got the, I think this is lavender. Gosh, I'm knowing my, my color product names today. 
and that's the, the lavender with it. It just, and again, 3.99, half a meter by 150. It's just a really great buy. Um, for a really good quality canvas, but it's not only for bag making you can use these to make floor cushions You know you could take pieces of these make floor cushions you make poofs out of them. It's really really lovely So I'm going to show you if I can hold these all upright. Let's see if I can So if I start there you can hopefully then see oh, oh gosh it was going so well then all along. But these wonderful products, make sure you check out the website. Any questions that we haven't answered, do pop up on our UK-based call center. They'll be able to give you a hand. Um, in the next hour, the Bargello. Gotta love a good Bargello. So that'll be on now for the next hour. We're just gonna change sets. Th um, so there will be a, a slide, but no sound. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you, bye-bye.
Welcome back! I'm John Cole Morgan and this is Sewing Street. Welcome! If you haven't joined us before, let me tell you how you can shop with us. It's www.sewingstreet.com. Failing that, you can join us on our UK-based call centre of 0800 001 Sorry, I had to just double check that. Yes, double zero one double four double three. I say it so often. I thought, no, that's not right. Sorry. So it is 0800 001 4433. If you want to follow us on social media, we've got a fantastic following, a really lovely setup. We've got Sewing Street TV on Facebook. That is our main page. And then we've got the Sewing Street fans group as well, which is lovely. If you're not in that, do join us. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, we've got a really great team on Instagram as well. So that's at Sewing Street. If you're looking to watch any of the clips that we've done or the um, shows that we've had in the past or going forward, you want to be reminded if you've missed anything, you can get us on YouTube and the street of this channel name is Sewing Street and you'll be able to see every single one of us, every one of our shows. If you are looking to, um, if you click subscribe on that as well, you'll be able to see each show and then be let, we'll let you know when the, sh um, the show of that day is uploaded and you'll be informed of how that goes. Really good show last hour. But I'm very excited. We've got our wonderful Wonder Clips back in stock. Um, I've been asking for these to come back for quite a while now. You know how I love my Wonder Clips. These are a pack of 50. Um, these are a pack of 50. And they are used for an assortment of different things. You've got them for bag making. Um, you can use them for dressmaking, for corners on sleeves and things. And you've also got them then for quilting, um, holding binding down. And we've not had these in stock for a little while because they were so popular the last time. Um, when we got them in, they were pretty much sold out within two days. So they're back in now. Very excited, exciting to have these back. So if you are looking to get some, please add them to your basket. And they're not yours until you've checked out, but they've done really well in the last hour. Only one PNP all day, three ninety-five. So do check out on a product that you like because we'd hate for you to miss them. Um, and yes, then it'll be yours and only paying the one PNP all day. But now many of you ask about what my favorite type of quilt to make is. And without question at the minute, it is Bargello. Many of you don't know what Bargello means, and that is actually, it means, it's the Italian word for movement. So you can see in fabrics, it just moves so effortlessly and beautiful, beautifully. This one is called, sorry, you know what us quilters are like, the second you find a thread or anything, you, you can brush it 20 times and there's always a thread. This is the B quilt that I've designed. Um, I was on a couple of weeks ago with our Angie quilt. So I'm going to show you our Angie quilt today, because some of you may not have seen my last show on this. So this is the Angie design, um, holding that there. So this is the, it's huge. I can't remember how big it is, but as you can tell, it's really big. And it's just a really simple, easy, easy, easy project to do. There's a lot of sewing and you can see the design there. It just pops so beautifully. And these colors have worked so, so well. Only thing I will say is what the samples that I've done are slightly different to the colors that are available, but not by much, and I'll show you where, simply because I wanted it to be exclusive for you. Didn't want you to have the same as other people may have. So why I love Bargello is because, especially now, I like mindful sewing. I like being able to do a project that is quick, easy, don't need to think too much about it. If I'm slightly out of my quarter inch, I stay slightly out for the whole project. And I just like it to be simple, because sometimes we do patterns and we think, oh, I want to do something really hard and very complicated, really want to test my brain. But certainly myself at this time in, in the world, I just want to do something mindless that I don't have to think about anything and I can lose myself in sewing. And there's nothing better than sewing all these strips together to be able to do it. Now, many people who see this quilt, they look at it and think, I can't do that, there's no way. I promise you, you can. This is a beginner quilt and you're looking at me and going, no, it's not, you're an idiot. I promise you, it's a beginner quilt. And you'll see when I go through the demo later, just how easy it is. But before I do that, look at all this fabric. Look at all this fabric. Now I'm going to try and bring this in to show you exactly what you're getting. I'm not going to get it all in one shot, so I'm going to have to do this in a... This enormous 15 meters of fabric here. Absolutely colossal amount of fabric. Actually, we're going to do it on the overhead. That's probably going to be easier. You can see, there we go, we just got it all in. So we've got a lovely... Oh, no. 
Oh, sorry, I felt a sneeze coming, sorry. <laughs> sneeze coming, sneeze coming. So we've got this lovely grey on the end there, then we've got a spotty red, a plain red. So all of these are a half metre. You're getting a half metre of everything here until we get to the navy, and I'll talk to you about the navy at the end. So you're getting a half a metre of the light of the steel grey, half a metre of the red dots, half a metre of the red plain, half a metre of the bright pink dot, half a metre of the pink plain, half a metre of the purple dot, half a metre of the purple plain, half a metre of the li purple, light purple dot, half a metre of the salmon plain, half a metre, I don't know what we'd call that, salmon pink dot, half a metre of the salmon pink plain, half a metre of light grey dot, half a metre of light grey plain. Are you exhausted yet? There's so much fabric, I'm not even halfway through. There's so much here. 15 metres of fabric for that price, that's just incredible. So then you got the sort of, the caramel dot, that's a good way of doing it. Then we've got the latte plain. And I'm going to move these over a little bit so you can see. But you can see so much fabric, it's off the screen. Then we've got the purple dot, a light purple dot. Then we've got a dark chocolate brown plain. Got a light purple dot, a light purple plain. Well, I'm calling this a, 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 a blue plain. Then we've got a blue, um, sorry, we've got this as a blue dot, and we've got it as a blue plane. Then we've got it as a bright blue dot and a bright blue plane, which is this one here. Still not there, having to slide it along as we go. We've got our lovely deep blue dot, and we've got a marine blue plane. Then we've got a navy blue dot. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. So, at that point, all of these, all of these is one bundle, Oh, and there's still more to come. All of these are half meter bundles. So I'm going to show you what a half meter looks on looks like on each of these pieces. So I'm not going to show you all of those because that's the whole show and we don't want to waste your time with that. That is what you're getting for each one. And you can see it's a lovely, great quality product, really lovely, good quilters feel. You know what I mean by that. Sometimes you feel them and they're a little bit stretchy and shiny and you're like, oh, what was that? This is not like that. These are really great, great fabrics. And I'm just going to try and get this back into the bundle with my folding skill. I did so well the last hour, it could possibly go wrong. Don't answer that. So then, on top of all of these amazing, so I think that's 26, let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You've got 26 half meters there, right? Then, you've got two meters of navy. The reason you've got two meters of navy is half a meter is going to go into the kit, like these, and then you've got a meter and a half for your border. So on this quilt here, it shows well, you can see I've got a border here of six and a half inches and you're going to need eight pieces of six and a half inches, which worked out to 55 inches all the way along, hence the extra metre and a half of navy. But, not only is that a huge deal, you've got your border for one, you've got the quilt fabric here for two. So, that makes no sense, doesn't it? So all of these... All of these half meters, including your half meter of navy, will make both the Angie quilt and the B quilt. Let me tell you who Angie and B are. Angie is one of my dearest friends. She is a quilter that I, um, I aspire to be like her. She is so talented. But one of those ladies who hides her light under her bushel, doesn't believe she's any good, but she's so talented. So that's why I wanted to make the Angie quilt. And then B who this is named after is a lady by the name of B. Taylor. She's one of the first ladies I met when I started crafting and she's just the most beautifully warm-hearted lady. That was why these, these quilts were named like this. And when I designed them, I wanted to make sure that people were able to get a really great quality fabric. So all of these fabrics are really good quality, but also they're fabrics that are quite simple because I wanted the fabric to sort of be second to the design. And you can see these are really cute fabrics that you can see, not all of us use spots a lot, not all of us use planes. So I wanted to make sure we had a, a design where you, you could use them for both. And all of this fabric, the half meters, make both the Angie quilt as well as the B quilt. So what you'll also find in our deal today is let's say you do want to make both of them. We have a meter and a half extra of the navy fabric in a bundle 
as a, as a price for you to be able to buy the meter and a half to make the second Bargello at £10.47. Now come on, two quilts for even if you, if you bought this one bundle as well as that bundle there, that is not a lot of money for a quilt that size. You, and it includes the instruction. One of these instruction comes free, you get the other one thrown in. So that is an incredible deal for the, this one being, what was it, 132? Sorry, I've just forgotten the price there. So it's £132.18 for this. So you're getting both sets of instructions, both the B and the Angie set, as well as all the fabric to make the inners of both of these and the border behind it, uh, the border on it for one. You will need to buy a second border for the other. And what I like about these designs is they work so well because you've used the same fabric for the border and the front. So if you are interested in making both of them, make sure you do check out that second um, border fabric because then the, the design speaks for itself and you've got everything just simply the same and that uniformity works very well. So if you only want to use one of these, you're going to have a long quarter left of each of the fabrics because you kind of cut these into, um, I can't remember the inch strips, but it's in the pattern. So you'll be able to then cut the strips out and you'll have at least a quarter of a meter left of each fabric with the fabric. So what we call a long fabric. And then if you don't want to make the second quilt, you just put it in your stash. If you prefer this one rather than the Angie one, it doesn't matter because you're getting both patterns for free. Sorry, both patterns, one of them is for free. So you can then look at it and say, oh well, I didn't like the Angie one, I'm going to give that away as a Christmas present, or give that away as a gift to somebody, or just put it in the post to make someone's day. You, pay, you paid nothing for it, you got it for free, so it doesn't really matter. But if you do want to do both, don't forget to check out your second border, pe border piece of navy, and at that price, just buy the navy, that's such a good price. So that's what you're going to need to make it. And don't be daunted by this, I know you are, I know you're all looking at it and going, there is no way I can do that. I promise you, you can. And the demo today will show you how, I did another demo of this a couple of weeks ago, so if you get lost on that one, you can check me out on the other one. So let's start at the very, very beginning, a very good place to start. I mustn't sing, I'm sorry, I won't put you through that again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know what my first and second colour are. So I'm going to get my fabric, boom, boom. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, the first thing I'm jumping the gun because I've made these so many times, I forget some people haven't. The patterns are very, very, very well written, I think, uh, because it tells you step by step what you're doing and you're going to be able to see exactly what you're doing. And over here it will refer to an A3 printout. At the minute, there is this sheet here, so you're not only going to get the A3 printout, but you're going to get that as well, because that will come back to show you what you're doing. The first thing you're going to do, and this is in your pattern, is you're going to make a fabric key. This is the most important work you will do through the whole quilt. And the thing is, once you've made it once, you don't need to make it again because all of my designs in this pattern work exactly the same way with the same colour key. So at the moment, you'll find that the bundle is laid out as number one is grey. And on my key, number one is grey. Number two is dotty red. Number two is dotty red. Number three is red plain. Number three is red plain. Number four is pink dotty. Number four is pink dotty, and you keep going all the way along, but please, I beg you, cut a snippet of fabric out of each corner. Put them onto a sheet of paper. I like old school. You can write it down as many times as you like, but I promise you, when you get to this line and you're looking for... Um, sorry, I'm just checking where we are. When you're looking for fabric number seven, you're going to completely forget what fabric number seven is, but you're going to refer to this and you'll be able to find number seven very easily. And I promise you what you'll find really easy is once you've found fabric number seven over there, you'll be able to then, sorry, I'm the wrong way around. So that's fabric nine. Have I got this quilt upside down? No, I don't. Oh, there we go. It helps if I, so here what we're doing is you can see from here, you've got that fabric there, that fabric there, 
that fabric there, that fabric there. Because as you do it, you need to make sure your fabric's going in the right direction. Ask me how I know, because I promise you I have sewn so many strips together, made the quilt in a reverse bargello, and come up with a really lovely design, but it's the wrong way round. So keep this with you, and every time you put a piece together, make sure you've got number one, then number two, then number three, number four, or wherever you are. I know on this one we start at 17, so you know you're gonna go 17, 18, 19, 20. Check for colors, because these colors are similar, Ask me how I know. So just trust me when I tell you. Make your fabric key, and every time you're sewing them together, check it. Check that back to your A3 spreadsheet. This is the big A3 spreadsheet you're gonna get. And that way then you'll be able to go. And now I'm gonna get them to zoom in on this because this is the next thing you need to know is how on earth do you read this? So Joe is busy getting his camera ready. So what you'll find on this is I've called columns across the top. So you can see there's column. And I'm gonna move this along as we go there. So there's column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you've got rows. So you can see there's row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just gonna use those. So you can see all the rows are down there to number 27. So there are 27 fabrics, there are 27 rows. And you can then see that on the Angie one, You've got a next column, you've got width. So you can see number one, column number one is two inches wide. Column two is two and a quarter. Column three is two and a half. Column four is two and a quarter. And these are all written there for you. Now, unfortunately, it's huge. So there isn't actually a printer available to print this big enough for you to see. So even I have struggled with it, and I'm sorry, there is no other way of doing this. Get your magnifying glass out. We all have one. We don't like to admit to it, but we all have one. Get that out and just double check. So the first column is the first line on this is column. Second column is width, or the first that, that one's column, that one's width. So we know that column one is that width, and row one is that color. So I've luckily got the Angie quilt next to me still, so I can show you what I mean by this because that may not have made. Sorry, what was that? Oh my word, there are less than 25 of these available yet, so well done if you've got it. Um, and check out if you want it, don't hang about. They're very popular, we sold out very quickly on the last time we did these. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you now how to use your fabric key. So on here, and I've got these upside down, don't I? I can't rotate this, I can't rotate this unfortunately. Can you rotate the overhead, 180? No problem. So, this is number fabric number one, because you can see, if we can zoom in onto that, I can show people there. This is now on the Angie quilt, I'm just showing you here. So, you can see that that is fabric number one. That's fabric two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, we made our lovely key, so we know that that's fabric number one. There's my key, there's fabric number one. That's fabric number two, that's number three, number four, number five. Sorry, I'm running away here. Now, my fabrics are slightly different, so you'll see that here I've got a pink, you've got a beautiful red, and I think the colors that they've chosen are much better than my colors from this one. Kind of having a little bit of regret on doing that, but I'm not having the time to make another one of these at the minute. So this is where I meant that you check your colors. So there's one, two, three, four, five and you just count them along on your your fabric key then the next one on your key in the second row is number two so your top fabric is number two so you're going to have two three four five and you can see i'm counting them on this key as you go the next one is number three so that is then number three three four five six and as you go along, and you can see what I'm doing then. So on the Angie quilt, it's really easy. It goes one, two, three, four, five, and you're just moving it up one as you go along. So the Angie quilt's quite simple in doing that. The B quilt, it's exactly the same. You're just starting at a different number. So it's exactly the same methodology. It's just you're starting with a different number. And you're always going in the same direction. So let's say we're picking number 17, which off the top of my head is. 
you're going to go 17, 18, 19, 20, the next one 16, 17, 18, 19, and you go along like that. So don't get daunted if the colors, the numbers are different. It is exactly the same methodology as the Angie one. So now we know how to create the fabric key. Now we know how to read our A3 sheet. The pattern is really, really simple because I wanted to make sure everybody knew what they were doing. So now I'm going to start with how you are going to start the whole process. You've read that, you've had a gin and tonic, you feel better for it, drink responsibly. <laughs> and what you're going to do now, so I actually did not have the stripology ruler when I started doing these bargellos. And oh my word, do I regret not having that then. This ruler is absolutely stunning. It is called the Stropology Ruler, and if anybody has not used the Stropology Ruler before, like I hadn't, where have you been all my life? So what you're doing is, first of all, you're gonna find your first flat end. So you can see my fabric there, that's where I'm looking as my first flat end. So we're gonna start there. So you line up, sorry, I just realized my fabric's gone a bit squiffy. And this will happen to you as well, don't worry. So you line your fabric up as close to as straight as you can get it. Get everything nice and flat. And in fact, I'm actually going to press these. I've got my lovely June Taylor mat here. I might as well just give it a press just very quickly. Because it's live telly, what could possibly go wrong? Don't tell Andrew I know how to use an iron. Shh, it's our little secret. Right, so press that nice and tightly. And I'm just gonna be simple, I'm gonna cut one of them at a time. You cut as many pieces as you like as you go. So now I know that this fabric, I cut it at, I didn't cut it very well at the studio, so I can see I'm a little bit in on that bit there. So make sure that you line your fabric up. On the bottom here, you can see I've lined it up against that black line there. And I know roughly, just double checking, yep, that's about right. I'm gonna take it over a little bit. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do, unlock my rotary cutter. I'm gonna plop that in the corner over here, press down nice and firm, and I'm gonna cut my first line. And then I'm gonna lift that up. And now come on, that was your first cut. It's always the deepest and you feel comfortable with it. So now you've got your, your Stropology ruler all lined up perfectly and you then cut your first strip. So these are six inch, oh, six inches, these are three inch strips that you're cutting. So all you're doing is you're going three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and the great thing with the stropology, you don't need to move a thing. Now, fingers crossed. Oh, I didn't. I, miss, I thought I'd miss the edges. thought I'd miss the edges. So all I'm going to do is there's a single strand on that first one. And you can see they've all just beautifully cut. And you asked me how much you'd have left over if you hadn't, weren't doing both. You need three strips for each of these quilts. You'll have three strips left over, and then I had that little bit left over. So you'll have about nine and a half, ten inches left over. So you can see if you didn't want to make both, you only need three per quilt, but if you did want to make both, you're cutting six strips out of each. So this would be for my Angie quilt, this will be for my B quilt. But do have a look at the Stropology Ruler if you haven't used it before. Such a lovely product. It's on the website as well, so do go there. Do you want me to show you one more? We'll do one more. Um, I'm going to press that as well because I don't want it, to be, want it to be accurate for the viewers. And do, it's always better to press everything and get everything. Preparation is key, as Angie would say. Good old Angie. So she's the first one, you've got to do what she says. Hers is the first quilt. She's a little bit terrifying, I won't deny, because if you don't press your seams open, oh, you can just feel her breathing down your neck going, mm-hmm. And you know that if it doesn't line up, you're like, ah, Angie told me so, Angie told me so. Of course, I'd never tell her that. I can't tell her she's right, because she'll just go, I told you so, all the time. 
So there we go. We've got the, we've pressed everything nice and flat and this one's been cut much better than I cut it in my studio. So I still would cut that first line just so that you're nice and thick because sometimes you may be slightly out and you've got more than enough to do it. So again, I've lined everything up so you can see on the bottom here, it's all lined up perfectly there and then there's a little white line at the top. I've lined the fabric at the top as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off on the zero line to get a nice clear line. And then the next one is three inches and everything's all cut at three inch strips and I didn't start that properly. And then you've got a six inch, so it's three, six, nine, and then 12, and then 15. And I tell you, this ruler really saves you time on this because the number of times I've been cutting this and I put three layers on top of each other and then I go, oh, it's two and a quarter, it's two and three quarters and you cut it and it's wrong and you just get very cross about it. So fingers crossed I've managed to get these right. So the bits I don't need I'm putting to one side and there's for Angie number one, Angie number two, Angie number three, B number one, B number two, B number three. So that's all you're doing and you can see how well the Stropology ruler works for this. And that's what it's designed for. This ruler is perfect. So if you haven't got one of these and you're looking for an aid to help you, wonderful product, have a check on the website. This one's called the Stropology ruler. Nothing fancy about it. So that is a really fabulous product to have. And you're gonna then cut all of your fabric, if you're doing both quilts, into six strips of three inches, right? So now you're going to sew these all together. So this is where I'm just going to do two of these together so you can see what I mean. First things first is you need to make sure you've got a quarter inch foot, a quarter inch seam. You need to make sure that your machine is threaded. Live telly. Of course it's not. There we go. And well, I'm going to test this simply because I want to make sure it's correct. I'm going to unplug my iron. I was just using Debbie's book then as a stand for this lovely pattern. So all I've done now is I've tested my quarter inch seam and the reason I'm testing my quarter inch seam is because the, if the most important thing on this project is making sure your quarter inch seam is the same. So even if your quarter inch is slightly off, it doesn't matter. You've just got to keep it consistent. So this is quite good. I'm happy with that because if you don't keep it consistent, when you come to put all these blocks together, you're going to have a problem. So the next top tip I have is these pins. These pins are brilliant because, and of course I've pulled all of them up the, wrong, the same colour. These glass pins by Millwood have got a blue and a brown top. They're glass headed, so you can use them with an iron. So it's entirely up to you how you do it. So you can see I've got a brown headed one there and I've got a blue headed one here. So what I do is you're sewing from top to bottom and bottom to top. So I'm gonna put brown on the bottom and I'm gonna put blue on the top. It doesn't matter how you decide to do it, put it on your note so that you know that, and what I mean by that is you have to sew these in different directions. So when you're sewing, these together, we're going to call this your top, okay? So I said blue was my top, so I'm popping a pin in my fabric to show what the top of the fabric is, and I'm putting another blue, another blue on the top to show the top of my fabric. Now I know that doesn't make sense to you now, but you can see I've got a blue here on the top, and then on the other end, I'm putting a brown on the bottom. Now you can do these any way you like. I just think these pins helped me very, very much in when I'm sewing these together because 
If you sew all of these strips, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm sewing always from top to bottom. So top to bottom, okay? So I'm sewing down the seam here from top to bottom. But then, when I get to the other side, I can't then sew the next strip from that end down there, because if I start doing that, you're going to create a bow in your fabric. It happens, people are, there are very different reasons as to why this happens. Some people are left and right handed, so when you're in the sewing machine, you gently push it to one side, favoring whatever side you, whatever hand you are. Also, the weight of your fabric causes a bit of a pull. So I always like to make sure that I'm sewing always top to bottom on my first load of strips. And then the next strip that comes in, which I think is this colorway, and we're just gonna pretend this is a three inch strip, I would be sewing that from bottom to top. And it's important to do that because otherwise you're going to end up with a bow. And if you've got a bow in your quilt, you literally cannot fix it. So it just gives you that little bit of an extra safety mechanism to check that it's okay. And the great thing with these pins is they are glass headed. So if you go through the, through the iron, they're not going to cause a problem. Um, and it's just a nice, simple, easy way of remembering your top to bottom. I've seen other ways, if that doesn't work for you, that's absolutely fine. You can write in the selvage of each one, top and bottom. It's just whatever works for you. That's what worked for me and what I thought worked well. And now we're using the fabulous 570 um, exper experience on the machine. Um, I demoed this the other day. Have a check on the website. And all you're doing is just sewing from the top to the bottom. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing because there are more important things to show you on this design. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm fresh off the press. I have just heard we've had a price reduction on this quilt. How can you go from that? We've had a three pound reduction in the price on this. Thank you very much, Haley. Haley just texted in to tell us that the price has dropped on this quilt. If you have already purchased it, I'm sure that'll, I'm sure if anybody's purchased this already, what will happen there? Oh, the price will go down. So your, your amount taken off your card will just be lower than what it was. So it's now at 129 pounds 18. So we can't change the graphic, but I will remind you all the way along. So what we're going to do now is we've sewn these two strips together. You're going to make sure that you've been consistent on your quarter inch. So even if your quarter inch isn't the same as my quarter inch, be consistent all the way through the quilt. Don't change sewing machines. Try and make sure you keep everything the same. So then what I suggest on this is you press your seams open. Now I know everybody's like, no, you told me I could go any way you like and you can. Open does make it easier when you're putting the rows together. So that's my top tip on it. Use it, don't use it, it doesn't matter. That's my tip. Do what's more comfortable for you. But I press these open because when you come to line them all up, they go. So now you've got all your pieces, you've sewn them all together. And somewhere here under my quilt and all my goodies, you will then end up with, is this the right piece? Boom, boom, boom. No, it's not. I've got so many pieces everywhere. What have I done with them? There we go. Nope, that's not it. Where did they go? That's right, we're going to use these ones anyway. So, what you've got then is you will have all of these pieces sewn together into strip sets. So you can see you've got these all together. So that's one strip set. Whoops. That's one strip set. That's the second strip set. That's the third strip set. Now, as I've said to you before, my strip sets are slightly different colors to what you've got in your graphics. Um, and if you can, if you go there, I can show you just how they're slightly different. Can we move the camera out a little bit? We're getting there. It's just to show these back. All right, so I'm gonna slide these forward. Just to show you that there's a slight different colorway, you can see over here we've got the gray, we've got the reds, and we've got the pinks. So they're slightly different on screen as to what you're getting. This is a much better colorway, in my opinion. So you've got all your strip sets together, and all my seams are pressed open. Okay? So now we are ready to cut these into the strip sets that we, um, the strip sizes that we need. Now, 
you can use your stropology ruler on this. I very sillyly did not sew these in a small enough size to get them under a stropology ruler. So I'm going to be using my normal ruler and you can do them how you like. It's whatever's easiest for you. Don't fall on the floor. Right. So I now refer to my Excel spreadsheet. And you're going to struggle. It's my struggle as well. So the first one's two and three quarters, then two and a half, then two and a quarter. So I, you, I, I layer them all together. Um, but you can do them individually. And I'm, you're going to pretend I've got all three on top of each other. Just because it's national television and live telly and what could possibly go wrong. So you can now use whatever ruler works well with your brain. And the first size that you're cutting, triple check, is two and three quarters. OK? So you're now, you've got your strip sets together. I suggest putting them in strip sets of eight at a maximum because it just works a little bit easier. You can get it all under one ruler. You then pick two and three quarters. You can see there's two and three quarters. And then you cut this off. So that's your first strip set. Then your second strip set, I know, is going to be two and a half. So I line that up to be two and a half. And I cut that across, two and a half. Then I know it's going to be two and a quarter. So line that up, get it ready. And it's two and a quarter. So all of these sizes, it's not going to be a case of each one is bigger or smaller by a quarter. Each one is always bigger and smaller by a quarter of an inch. But check the pattern as to what size you're cutting. Because it's not always, you're not going to end up going all the way down to a quarter of an, uh, three quarters of an inch and all the way back up. They vary. That's what creates that movement bargello. So now that I've done that, um, I've just realized I can't find my other two and a half pieces. So now that I've got two pieces, two strip sets together, this becomes a little bit more difficult because I've made it a bit longer. But you probably will do the same. So I'm going to line these up as best I can. But it also then, it's all explained in the pattern, but this then gives you a little bit of an idea. If you've done it yourself this way, you'll be able to know what I mean when I say what, I'm, what you're doing. So that one is now moving. Of course it is. We all know what it's like. Right, so the first size is two and three quarters. OK. Now, because this is, if this was at home, I would have rotated my mat. Um, I can't do that at the moment, because obviously I have the fabric in the way. So all I've done now is rotated this down. And I'm lining it back up to two and three quarters. Checking that that's lined up there, and it is. So there's my two and three quarters. And I'm going to do my two and a half and my two and a quarter next. And again, you just refer to the A3 portion of the pattern for you to be able to figure out where you are on this. And then I'll just do this as my last one because I want to show you how to put these strips together. And this is where your fabric key, if you put your fabric key somewhere safe at this moment, you need to get your fabric key. I do think it's a very good idea to put this in a frame or on one of these wonderful book stands and have it available at all times because I promise you, throughout all of these designs, the most f used piece of kit in your project will be the fabric kit. So now what you've got is we have our two and a quarter, two and a half, and two and three quarters. And then the ones we cut previously is two and a quarter, Two and a half and two and three quarters. See, when I do this, every now and then I'm like, oh, look at all those colours. And of course, I've now put my fabric key in a very safe place. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your colours and you're going to line them up with your fabric. So I can see that that's one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 all the way down to this colour here, which is number 10. 
Then I'm going to take what my number 11 is, and I'm going to put my number 11 on there. Okay, so you can see I'm going 10, 11, 10, 11. And then I'm going to put my quarter inch seam on and make sure that you've used the same quarter inch that you've used throughout the whole project. Okay. And this one has a wonderful thread cutter in it. So all I've done now, so now I've got numbers 1 to 20 together. So I know that that's number 20. So I've got to put 21, 22 going all the way around. So I put 20 to 21 right sides together and I sew that through there. Now this is when you get very used to this project. All you do now is you know that there are only three strip sets. They've got to be put into a circle. So you sew number one to number 27. So this is when you get very clever and you start chain piecing your loops together. Okay. I know most of you just went, huh? So I'm going to show you again. This is number one. That's number 10. This is number 11. I know this because I've done it hundreds and hundreds of times together. But check your fabric key and you keep them in order. And basically you're just sewing all of your strip sets together, all 27 colors, into a giant circle. But make sure you get them in the right order because it is very easy to sew these the wrong way around. And you only figure out you've sewn them the wrong way around when you get to the bottom of your quilt. So this is a really important thing. Follow your fabric key, make sure that it works, and make sure it works for you, and you then create these wonderful little loops. How much time do I have? Oh, I've got five minutes, brilliant. I can show you this, I can show all three, which is good. So I think with three, it makes life a little easier. So now I'm doing this slightly differently. I'm sewing number one onto number 27. Doing it backwards, just because I know that when you pick these fabrics up, you're going to go, but I'm doing it the other way. Will that still work? I'm just trying to show you. Yes, it will. So now I've got number 10 here, and I'm sewing it onto number 11 here. And now I'm back forwards again, because I know that if I show you how it's going in different wet methods, that it will work easier for your brain. People are going, they work differently. So now you're going to, at the end of this, you're going to have three circles. Now, the, the question I get asked a lot on this is, oh my goodness, I've got, a, I've got a twist in it, oh, I unpicked it. Please do not unpick. You don't need to unpick anything if you've got a twist, and I'll show you why now. And I see now we've got our price reduction on screen. So this kit, the extra, the, um, you've got enough for the central for both quilts. You've got both, kit, uh, both patterns and enough to make the border of one of these Bargellas for £129.18. What a great saving. So here you go. That's strip number one, which is two and three quarters. This is strip number two, which is two and a half. And, oh, no, these are all straight. I don't think I got a curve in any of them, which is good. And it doesn't matter if you do. So if this was twisted, it doesn't matter, and I'll show you why now. So when you cut these all out, I... I'm 90% sure I've done it. Yes, I have. So you'll be able to see how many two and three quarters, how many two and a halves. So I've written that in the pattern. So you can then get it all ready, lay it all out, and get it ready to go to, to sort out exactly how you're cutting these all up. So I think everybody will be comfortable at this point. The next point, however, everybody goes, I don't understand. So now is really important that you follow your fabric key. Okay? So we know that's number one, that's two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I know that my first colour is seventeen. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it. You obviously won't have my quilt ready to go, but you can see that that looks the same. This is in the Excel spreadsheet, and you'll be able to see that. And I've just realised I don't have an unpicker here. So we're going to use these lovely Fiskars scissors. So what you're doing now is this is the top color. This is the color that's at the top there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpick the fabric above it. Oh, and I'm just pulling it ever so gently there. When you do it, you've got to pull the funny faces that I'm making as well. It really works. 
I think if you haven't got your tongue out when you're doing sewing exercise, sewing projects, you're not doing it right. Right, there we go. But this is the great thing with this project because I really do think sewing and mindfulness are very closely linked. And many people do agree with that. Um, it's just a case of probably not been scientifically proven. But I know that after two hours of sewing, I'm a much nicer person. So now we've done, that's our first piece. So our second piece, I know, because I've written the pattern, I know that that's my second piece there. So can you see I'm cutting, you can see that that's the same. So this is now number 16. So if we look on the overhead here, that's the first one I've cut, that's the second. So I'm unpicking this bit here, which is above where the next block is meant to be. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have to do this. Sorry about that. Boom, boom, boom. And then what you're doing then, this is where your millwood pins would come in handy, because now we know where our top is. So you now take again, so we said what colour was top? Green was top, brown was bottom, and of course I just picked all the browns up. So blue is top, you put a top there, and you put a top there. Obviously be aware of where you're sewing, so if you're sewing there, try not to put the pin too close. And then I put a brown in the bottom as well, just because then you know which is top and which is bottom. So now what you'll do is you'll sew the first ones together and you're sewing from top to bottom. So you just put these, and I'm just gonna sew a little bit together, and I'm not, because you know how to do that. What you're doing here is, as you can see on the overhead now, you can see that I press this open so you can see exactly where you're lining these up. So when you line these together, I'm gonna to just try and get this on the overhead that you can see it. Now I know that this is my top because I've got my blue pin in it, but then you can see on my overhead, with it pressed open, you can see that it's very easy to line up and to push those through the machine. So that's why I suggest doing it. So that's the first and the second strip. Then the third strip, um, and I know this because I wrote it, is going to be this one, and hopefully this isn't gonna tear. Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> you can then sew that there, and you're gonna sew these repeatedly all the way down. So you can see, and I was terrified that fabric was in a tear and a half then, but thank goodness it didn't. So there we go, that's how you're gonna do it. So that's step one, two, and three. And on the B quilt, of course I now can't find it, you have got 47 to go. So once you've done the three, you've got 47 to go in total. But now remember, these two you're sewing top to bottom. When you've sewn these two together, you're sewing from bottom to top on the next section, because these you've sewn from top to bottom. So when you sew this one onto there, you must go from bottom to top. The reason being, you will create a curve. And there's nothing worse than creating something that's huge and so much work, and you've got a natural curve because you're, because if you've got a natural curve going in there, it's gonna distort your quilt and there is no way of fixing it. I know, because I did it. So that is a really top tip on doing these. So that's the way you're going through it. And you just keep following the pattern, following the width of everything that you're cutting. And that is the really easy way of doing it. So you're getting both patterns with these bundles. You're only paying for one, but you're getting both patterns. You're getting both the B quilt and the Angie quilt. You're getting this wonderful um, amount of fabric here, which is 26 half meters of all these wonderful colors here. Um, I'm going to bring these closer to me so you can see them all again. And the reason I say 26 half meters is because you've then got a nice big chunk of navy to go with it. I'm going to put these in the front here because you get both of these with this, this bundle. But you've got half a meter of that lovely grey and then the red spotty and the red solid and the pink spotty and the pink solid and the purple so spotty purple spot, purple solid, pink, purple sp uh, spotty again, pink solid, pink spotty, pink solid, gray spotty, gray solid, caramel spotty, caramel solid, sort of a, 
what we call that, pistachio, no, not sure. But it's a lovely purple, whatever colour it is. And then you've got a, a brown plain, a blue spotty, blue plain, blue spotty, blue plain, blue spotty, blue plain. Can you see I designed this with all my blues? And then you get a, another blue, another blue, and then this beautiful navy. So all of these half metres are included. So that's 13 metres of fabric just there. But not only that, you then get two metres of this navy. Half a meter will then form part of this Bargello kit, which will make both of the tops of the Angie and the B quilt. Both of those will be in, you'll be able to make both the centers of that. With one, with one of these kits, you'll have the border for one of them. And that comes in at 129 pounds 18. We've dropped that by three pounds already today. And let's just say, for example, you don't fancy a Bargello. Look at this just for your stash builder. Is this not the most incredible value for 15 meters of fabric? For, it's less than, you know, 15 meters of fabric. How much is that working out at? It's less than... 15 meters of fabric divided by 130 to 129 18 divided by 15 meters. It's just incredible value. Really great fabrics, lovely way of doing it. But also you get then these two kits fabric uh, kit kit patterns. It's just a really great product. And then you've got the bundle then if you are going to buy the the bundle and you want to make both kits, you are going to need an extra meter and a half of the navy to put the border around both of the quilts. This was £10.47, and that's not included in the bundle, but you will need to buy that separately. But even at that price, how can you not even stick some of them in your basket? Just a really wonderful bundle there. I use the Stropology ruler, which is over here. Um, this is the normal Stropology ruler, which you'll be able to see. Uh, you've got all these half inches cuts all the way along that you can cut the fabric on. You just fold the fabric into four and then you can cut very, very easily and very quickly to do this. This is a really good tool if you're looking for a tool to go through uh, to make this quilt. This is a really good ruler to use. Really nice way of doing it. Don't forget the Millwood pins, which I think help a lot. Uh, and Oh, we've got our Make of the Week competition announcement. I am very excited about this. This is now, anybody who posts on any of our social media, um, Vicky, Debbie and I each get to choose different products that we or different people's makes that we think is the top of the thing. So these are our winners of the week. Now remind me of the winners. We've got Gillian Helf, uh, Helford, Pam Frampton and Deborah Hallam. These are what they've made. Um, this is the rainbow from Gillian Halford. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. The rainbows have been very popular last week. Really good. Pam Frampton, this little outfit is so adorable. So, so, so cute. Well deserved as a winner. And then the last one was Deborah Hallam. Happiness is homemade. Especially in this day and age, happiness is definitely homemade. Now, all of you, thank you so much for taking part. It's just a bit of fun. It's just something fun that we do. That doesn't mean that we didn't love all the other um, designs and pictures that went up. It's just nice to be able to highlight some of them. So with the, if you want to do that, just keep be involved in it. Um, enter by marking your post, uh, sorry, enter your posting, enter by posting your makes on Sewing Street fans Facebook group. Sorry about that, a bit late in the day to be reading properly. So anything that you want to post on there, post on the Sewing Street fans page and we then go through and pick our top picks of the week. And it is hard. You ladies and gents are really talented out there. It's really, really tough. So the last one I want to just go through is, oh, the design roll sew along that we're doing on the 18th of April. That is going to be a sewing project together, a sew along, which will be on our fans page and on the Sewing Street page. Um, and what we're trying to do is get as many people involved to be able to take part in this first time of a sew along where we're all going to be able to say, sew the same project, doing it in different ways and you design how you want it to go, but everybody being able to take part. It's going to be a really fun project that we all do together. This bundle of all three of them together, you can check out on our nine o'clock show as well. I showed you all the different designs and the really beautiful detailing on it. This is now £49.97 and our sew along will take part on the 18th of April um, and you should have delivery by these for the 13th or 
14th of, of um, April. If anything's saying that it's out of stock, just keep checking every day because we're on it. We're trying to get stock in the door as much as possible. We've got our skeleton staff and we're all working very hard to make sure you can keep, stay on air and you get your products as quickly as we can. What have we got on tomorrow? We've got fabrics. We've got Quilts As You Go, Sophie Tote Bag with Cara Ackerman. Oh, that's going to be exciting. And then we've got these fabulous Elner 550, 550, 560 and 570 sewing machines. I was using the 570 today. It's a lovely little machine. So looking forward to seeing that. And yes, what a really lovely show. Lots of product and tomorrow 8 a.m. first day of three hours so we're really pleased to have you thank you so much for joining me today thank you for your time and I'm just so so happy to be able to bring you these incredible designs have a wonderful day thank you bye bye <laughs>